Councillor, it's almost been a year to the day of the tragic Fields Hill accident. What change has happened in that year? Well, uh, the only thing that's changed is the new signage that took almost a year to be erected. Um, the, the trucks during peak hours seem to have slowed down, but there is uh, somewhat of uh, there is some enforcement at the bottom and on both sides of Fields Hill, where they are uh, stopping the trucks and stacking them. They were going to make a third lane, a uh, compulsory truck lane. They were going to put up uh, concrete barriers to protect the houses on the side there. Uh, they were going to do a, um, a runoff, be uh, a bed for the trucks to run off if they run out of steam. And none of that's happened, and we've heard nothing about that since. Uh, Councillor, the signs are up now in terms of the tonnage and the times that the trucks can and can't go through the area. Uh, but what more can be done? Is that enough? Are the measures in place now enough? Um, I don't think so, because the, the time that the accident happened was outside of the prohibited times. The, the truck was not roadworthy. Um, you know, what we were looking for is a complete ban on trucks on Fields Hill. And he is, the, the MEC is very resistant. Um, in fact, he said that he's not going to ban trucks on Fields Hill at all. And I've uh, accused him of uh, operating with tombstone legislation where we have to have a certain number of dead bodies before he will actually do something. So, I mean, what, what, what is the process um, to getting that uh, ban? It's something that can be achieved if the, if the public really wants it, because I think it's been proven that if the public come out in mass and they keep up the pressure, they will do something. Um, the only way we got the signage was through protests and things we had down there at the bottom of Fields Hill. The reason the trucks are using the M13 is not because of the toll, it's because of the Weybridge. So a lot of people think that by moving the toll gates to Cateridge would stop the trucks. It's not. What they have to do is move the Weybridge. Unless they want to completely stop trucks, you're not going to stop the accidents. But a lot of these trucks are coming down in the middle of the night. The drivers are tired. Um, people are complaining about the noise from the trucks. The geology survey said that it's unstable for trucks to use that with the, the cliffs there. So it's not just uh, 16 tons and, and up. It should be all trucks. We want a complete ban on trucks. And the, the residents have made that clear.